Hi guys, you have been probably waiting for it today. A look at the Mycine Infrared Seeker. So, there is a lot of details to look at. I will try not to forget anything. First, uh, uh, it seems to be British made according to some information here at least. These parts are made in England. And the general look and feel uh, seems very British. In particular, uh, the use of this uh, pink heat sink. We have uh, the, the size, it is uh, 20 tues, 2 centimeters uh, of diameter. Uh, first, general information. We have so the gimbal assembly on the front. We have the main structural piece here, which is uh, made in diecast. We have some kind of a seal around, but it is not completely uh, hermetic seal. There is some cutouts in it. We have a pipe inlet here for some coolant. I will zoom on all this later. We have a back plate here which is screwed. So it looks like maybe it may be possible to unscrew it. But some of the screws are not really easy to access. This one in particular. So I haven't uh, figured it out yet. And on the back here we have a bunch of uh, electronic and uh, electromechanical devices. So how it is attached to the missile frame apparently with four uh, threaded standoffs here. And how it was connected apart from this coolant pipe. We had in fact a few wire looms which have been cut. So I did uh, terminate it with them with uh, each ring, so they are uh, uh, better to look at, and they will not uh, come apart too much. Here I still need to do something maybe. Uh, the wires are uh, Teflon coated wires, but extremely thin. Uh, we have another cut wire harness here and we add another one behind the capacitors board here I did uh, add it behind the capacitors no it is here actually it is this one oops and it is coming off nice so whatever I will take care of it later Okay, so this is the uh, overview of it. Then uh, we will start with the front uh, business end. So we have a gimbal assembly on the two axis. In the middle we have the sensitive uh, window, probably to receive infrared. So there is the look of possibly a uh, germanium lens inside. But you can see in the front it is very weird. There is this kind of spiral um, pattern. Not sure how it will show on camera like this. And if I shine a light inside it has some red uh, colors. All around here not sure if you will see here we have uh, some uh, coils and actually it looks like this part can rotate a little bit uh, at first glance I was not sure if, if I was not sure if it was loose or what but no in fact it seems it can rotate in one way or another here we have these screws, they serve no purpose, they attach nothing. And these screws here were missing, so I did replace this. 
but this part anyway is a press fit inside and I was not able to pull it. So we have around here uh, magnets, here also on this, um, I need to unzoom a little bit more, here also, so uh, circular magnets with what seems to be here a voice coil as in a hard drive. And also, speaking of voice coils, so here we have some uh, balancing screws to set off the exact balance of the thing. And uh, where is it? Here. You can see this uh, green part is a uh, wire wound, wound uh, resistor. And we have somewhere here, in fact, a wiper. So it must be a feedback potentiometer to uh, know where uh, we are exactly. We have the same thing for the other axis in here, but it is not really possible to see it. We have wires going in, in this uh, part here, but it seems it is not uh, I did remove this plate, there is nothing behind, just the wires going in the middle, in fact. So maybe we have rotating contacts here, or maybe it is just a wire loop. In fact, as it is intended for single use, in fact, maybe a wire loop will be enough, and the uh, axis of uh, rotation is not uh, enormous also. And uh, we might have the same thing here. Ok, uh, about the uh, pipe connection, it comes in here, here we have some rotary uh, junction, obviously, it continues here, and here, and it will continue in here to go exactly in the middle, we can see it again here. So about this uh, centerpiece, you can see the back uh, piece of it here, screws, but uh, even if I undo these screws, it will be uh, stuck in the big magnet, so I will not be able to open it. On the other side, we have, where is it, more stuff here. We can see uh, wires going into it with some very very thin wires, this one is oddly enough not uh, going the same path the other does. All the other contacts uh, go through here, but this one has a little loop here, it comes here, and it comes here, it outputs here. Then it continues here, and it ends here in this little box, in which you have a bigger wire coming out which has been cut obviously and in fact this is just a cover for a little plug let me remove a little screw it is almost the only screw i can remove easily you can see we have a little uh, interconnect here just to uh, allow to disconnect it properly at some point so it does not tell much, in fact. Uh, what else about this front piece? So most of the weight, in fact, is in the, this part. It is, this part is extremely heavy. You can see the magnets here. So we have one voice call here, and there must be, I believe the other one may be a static inside here in the middle but I cannot really see it. So if I shine a light all at the bottom, in fact, we have nothing at the bottom, just a blank plate. Okay, so did I forget anything about this? No. Before we continue, we will have a look at the uh, model on serial numbers everywhere. 
So we have one here with um, what seems to be the serial number of the uh, main uh, assembly. I did try this on Google but I got no result at all. It is written DHL here but I do not believe it is the DHL shipping company. More numbers here. Where do we have other information? We have some here with also uh, part number. Everywhere in fact we have here also. Here also, here there is oddly enough what seems to be another serial number. And uh, lastly we have, where is it, uh, some numbers written here. And again here the 4046 serial number. And uh, here I did just see what seems to be a wiper, yes, here you have a wiper for the other green uh, uh, potentiometer, uh, feedback potentiometer here, it is just this here, but this thing is made of a number of parts, it is just insane. So we will continue with uh, the stuff on the side, we have here uh, a plate which was loose when I did receive it with four uh, capacitors obviously but I do not see any uh, dead code on them I did not find any dead code on this thing so I do not know if it is uh, 60s or 70s it looks pretty old but uh, I did not find any useful in dead code so here we have a little plate with um, multi-turn trimmers from Trimpot. Trimpot Philos Green, it is written, excuse me, it is, this thing is EV, no, here, yellow, green, ah, it is the wires, uh, the output wires colors. But I did not find any, usually on this part you have a dead code. But here it is not the case. Uh, it is all for this uh, all around. Now we can start at the back. So there is uh, four assemblies at the back. Uh, this one is uh, apparently four potted transformers in uh, soft yellow potting material some kind of silicone. The contacts come in from, from here. And actually we have a wire loom going inside here. So I am not sure what is the purpose of this plate except of uh, allowing to route the wires to, through holes to uh, pins probably quite uh, well design. Other side we have what seems to be two more uh, transformers in uh, putting in uh, silicon but it, this time it is hard and it is a dark red while this one is a uh, yellow orange ish and soft. And here we have just two uh, relays by uh, Claire Elliott and uh, we continue with the most interesting devices so in fact it looks like it is two times more or less the same thing we have this uh, assemblies in the middle here which seems to be uh, some kind of motors it is uh, branded Vactric Control Equipment here, made in Northern Surrey, England. 
So there is one for each one of these assemblies. So what do we have here on uh, this one? It is quite complicated in fact to tell what we have. It is crowded with stuff. It seems we have more uh, potentiometer parts with wipers traveling on them. It seems we have a whole bunch of uh, wire wound resistors in here. And uh, uh, the other side here is the same except for this little piece which may be some kind of a precision resistor. And for the other unit, it is more or less, excuse me, ah, the same thing. This thing is, uh, I do not know, three, four kilos, maybe something like this. Uh, more or less the same thing, except we have a terminal board here. And we have a board here with uh, what seems to be two resistors. And we cannot see much. There is this little panel here, but I believe it might just be the bearing uh, cover. So I will try, excuse me for the framing and such, but this thing is really not easy to work with. I will try to loosen the screws. Very rusty by the way. But so far they are not stuck. So three of them are out. You already know what will happen. Murphy's law, the last one will be completely stuck. No, Murphy must, must be sleeping. Okay. So now will it come off? I do not want to break anything or do anything I could not uh, put back in place. It seems quite difficult to undo. I guess we'll just have a bearing anyways. Yes, it is a very tight fit. So I will not uh, go further. I know it is a ball bearing behind this. Oh, it is coming off. And yes, ball bearing with uh, this shaft as a uh, is uh, sharp at the end on the ball bearing is uh, wide open on this side so it is just uh, guidance for uh, and there is uh, apparently uh, precision uh, thickness piece here to allow uh, to adjust it precisely Interesting. Oh no, it is quite a mess to put back together. Okay, I will reassemble it later. So, what else to say about this thing? Uh, I would like to identify from which kind of missile it is. Because I did have a look at uh, if it is British at most of uh, British uh, missiles designed from the 50s to 70s. Uh, first, they had a very few infrared uh, seeker missiles, they were mostly radar. And the only few ones as the fire strike, I did work, look at photos and the seeker do not look at all like this. So, I, for so far I did not identify from which uh, device it could be. Uh, sadly because I would love to find a photo with uh, the part in a situation where you see clearly it is the same part. But so far uh, no success. I will still uh, 
continue a little bit to search but given the serial number it is not a prototype part and they obviously made a lot of them and uh, yes apart from the uh, pink it link and the two motors made in uh, England in fact I am not sure uh, of which origin it is seems English but it might be French as so not uh, very clear still it is a very nice uh, piece ok so uh, I, if I find any information probably there will be a follow up video so thanks for watching for now bye bye